Hi, my name is Marcian Kraetsman and today I would like to do a demo of how I use Fire Capture uh, 2.3 with my uh, Lund 60mm pressure tuner and uh, <coughs> as you can see I already found the object of interest, that is the Sun there's not really a great difference between using fire capture for the sun or the moon or anything but what you but what you really have to look for is you have to make sure that you choose the right profile <coughs> I created my own for the sun and uh, <coughs> first of all I have of course I have to focus the image and would help me to have a little bit more oh that's there we are <coughs> it was a little bit too over overexposed <coughs> okay let's have it a little bit more in view so the first thing i have to do is get it into focus and to do that i use a zoomed in view and as you might see or not the image is getting clearer <coughs> maybe you can't see it because uh, <coughs> Cam Studio and other capturing software aren't really that great for the whole for capturing the whole color depth <coughs> actually I'm capturing a video of capturing a video so this might be a problem uh, anyway, I see that I have pretty good focus. I focus pretty well. Okay, this is a little bit better. Yeah, I think I am good to go. So, <coughs> what I've done uh, first, I put it, put the uh, zoom back to one hundred percent, and basically, what I can do now is I can start imaging. And I could use the enter key or this start capture key and there we are now as you can see the Sun is moving out of my view slowly and that's because I have an, a non following uh, uh, setup uh, I have I don't have a, a Skywatch EQ uh, anything just something that sends still so that's why I've limited my videos to 27% and you can put this enter this limit and after that limit is reached it will stop capturing which is quite useful because when I'm going to stack these videos uh, it's I should have something that's in the first frame and it should also be a part of it in the second in the last frame and it's just better uh, to deal, uh, to to stack, to use it for stacking software that like that. You actually have something that's in all views, all frames. Um, yeah, uh, there's not much else to say about this, <coughs> uh, except maybe you can, as you can see, after the first uh, capturing, then suddenly the uh, histogram appears. This can be useful if you don't want to overexpose your sun images. For example, if I do this, as you can see, my histogram, or hopefully you can see in the after capturing uh, in uh, Cam Studio, you can see that the histogram goes out rather high at the right side. And this is not good. I, I cannot, I, if I want to make a full disk picture of this it won't help me because uh, I have these overexposed parts that don't fit in with all the other uh, stacked photos also <coughs> I put the gain very low and the reason for that is gain brings with it a certain amount of noise so I wanted to set it as, as low as possible sometimes it's unavoidable to put it a little higher but this is uh, for the sun it's actually uh, fine 
of course you want to know where your videos are stored you can find it over here in the settings and you can see I've created I have my own directory for astrophotography the profile directly translates to a subdirectory and then I've chosen this uh, date format as a, another subdirectory below that so I can easily sort it and have the newest uh, lowest and the oldest uh, highest in the uh, explorer window so that's basically all basically all that's there there is to it uh, I'm gonna do a, a video about how I am going to use these videos to stack and uh, uh, as soon as that's there I'll let you know and thanks for watching